Hello everyone, Pop Parts are here, and today we're doing episode 15, right as it turns night time. And I swear, every time we do an episode, I always say that it's turning night time, because it always is, I don't know, it's just the worst time ever. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get some logs here, in the night time, that's right. We're going to be men, and we're going to blast through these idiots that try to kill me, alright? None of this pansy crap where you sit there... I didn't want to go outside, you know? It's, no, none of that. We're going to go outside, and we're going to kill everyone who comes in our sight. Unless they're human, in which case we will probably still kill them so we can have whatever they have. Maybe not. I don't think we'll be seeing any humans today, but if by chance one of my relatives does jump on, if they happen to be in the same building under me, yes, we will fight them. Alright. Okay, Creeper, you're a freak. Do you know that? He's gonna blow me up. Just watch. Oh my goodness. He got close. He got bloody close. I didn't even notice. Well, I sort of did. I, I knew he was coming, but I was in the middle of something. Alright, Creeper, you persistent little freak. Get away from me right now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Two gunpowder. Now, gunpowder won't even be much of a problem once we get the mob trap built. We're just going to keep hacking up these wood while uh, while we wait for the moon to get its butt in gear and get out of here. It's taking forever. And why are there always animals swimming? It's so weird. You know, they drown in there sometimes. If they get stuck under the water, you know, they, they die. But no, let's go swimming anyway. Which I understand. People will take the argument that humans swim and humans drown. Yes, they do. But humans have brains. These little critters don't have a single... Worthless brain. They just do stupid things. They suffocate themselves. They hang themselves, probably. They jump off of mountains. You know, I've seen it. I've seen them do it. I know they do. And I always ask them to stop. But they do it anyway, even in front of my children, which is absolutely ludicrous. You know, just can't you have a little bit of respect and not kill yourself in front of my babies? You know, they don't want to see it. In fact, if they do see it, they might consider being stupid like a pig, which I do not tolerate. So, piggies, please, for the future, don't be stupid. Don't kill yourself in front of me. You know, you can kill yourself in front of anyone else, but not me and my family, alright? You know what? Why don't you just not kill yourself? Oh, that's a good idea. Because then I can kill you myself, and then I'll have the meat right there. Rather than letting the meat sit at the bottom of the, you know, mountain or whatever, and it rots there. That's a waste. That is a waste, Piggy. That is a bloody waste, and you know it. Alright. Why are we doing this, Skelly? Why are we doing this right now? Stop it. You are an idiot. You know that? You can't kill me. I don't even know why you would try. Well, actually, I do know why. I just lied. Because you're an idiot. That's what I said. That's obviously why you tried. Alright, we're going to eat some chicken. Because that stupid skeleton decided to be a jerk. And attack me. So we are now going to use long crossbow skills and kill this zombie. There we go. That's what we call skills. Massive skills. What about this guy? Oh, we're going to do the same thing because we're awesome. We have longbow skills. Oh, really, Skelly? You want to fight me? Well, guess what? Too bad. Because you're dumb. There we go. Wonderful. No arrows, really. Well, aren't you just a greedy piece of crap? You don't even give me any arrows back. I just had a war. I've lost half my arrows. Alright, we need to craft some. But there's an apple and there's another zombie. I'm losing my focus. Zombie, no, shut up. Just be quiet and go to sleep. I'm going to have to make you do it myself. Which I already did, but I'm just saying. What in the world is going on here? Why is there so many bloody creepers? Get out of here. Why are you all... Whoa, okay, happy spasm. What are you doing there, boy? Acting like my sheepy the first day I met him. Well, that's a lie, actually. It wasn't really the first day I met him, but the first day he was in my house. He was doing similar things. You know, when I was, like, taking him up to the house and stuff, he was, like, jumping around all weird. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Because I'm not sure what it really means. Alright. Let's cut another tree down. Let's see if we can do it peacefully. Well, these fools coming over here and trying to hurt me again. But the likeliness of that is really quite... Okay, alright. What do you... What is your problem? 
Why do you try to pick a fight with me every five seconds? You know, it's like, I'm just trying to do my job here. Keep my family alive. Oh, wait, I forgot. Those fools don't care about my family. Which is, you know, it's, uh, it's alright. Makes sense. Not like they have any obligations. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they have half a brain to even care about something else. So, they don't even care about their own kind. They fight each other sometimes. Which humans do too, so don't give me that argument. But you know what I'm saying. They do it mindlessly. We actually have a purpose. They have absolutely no purpose. Let's walk around willy-nilly. Let's kill something. No, zombie. No. I didn't even want to kill you, but I had to. You didn't leave me much of a choice when you started growling at me like that, you know? My kids need me to come home tonight to give them food. So don't play this game with me. Alright. Spider. Sorry, bro, but you had to go. I can't tolerate webs around here. Kids will get stuck in them and die. Now, most of you are probably wondering by now, where are my children? Well, that is really too personal, to be honest, so I can't tell you. But they are here indeed. They are on this island. Most of you beg to differ, I'm sure, but guess what? You're wrong, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't prove it. You can't do anything to me. Kind of like that creeper. Nothing. He can't do squat. So, you know... Those kinds of questions just, you never know, refrain from them. You know, you don't ask me where my kids are. Like, what in the world? Why do you think you can't see them? Oh, you know, it's just because, coincidentally, they're not here. No, it's because I hid them. If I didn't want to hide them, I wouldn't have. I would let them out here in the wilderness, but they'd be dead by now. So that's why, okay? So, if you really want to know where they are, I'm not going to tell you. But maybe one day you'll see them. One day... When you're dead, alright? That's about all I'm going to say. You, you're not a chance in this life. So, if you don't believe in an afterlife, that's unfortunate for you. You're not going to see him ever. If you do, perhaps you will. I don't know. Or perhaps your beliefs don't really matter, and it's going to be one way or the other anyway. Don't take that offensively. I'm just trying to do what's right, you see? Alright. <clears throat> I am sick and tired of you swimming, freaks. What is your problems? Alright, well, we have a lot of wood now. We also have a lot of blood on our hands because these idiots wouldn't stop leaving us alone. Look at all that wood. We are doing well, my friends. We are doing real well. So, I think what we'll do is finish off a couple more of these. This is your problem, huh? Oh, really? Why don't you tell your mom about it? Because I don't want to hear it. There you go. Alright, this is kind of a cool spot. It's quite gorgeous with these trees, but guess what? I am hungry for logs, so it will be beautiful no more. The end. Really quite black and white, really. It really is. Also, for those of you watching, uh, I'm going to be opening up some servers pretty soon. But just so you know, they're not public. None of them are public because they can't be. Currently, it's restricted to whitelist only, and... Uh, so, I'm going to let people join. Oh, bloody. I'm out of my axe. Now i got to go back home. All right. Well, that was fun anyway to mine. Not mine. I'm losing my mind, everyone. I meant to say it was fun. It really was fun doing this tree chopping crap. The stuff that people like me in my higher position should not have to do. Fortunately, there's not a lot of people on this island to employ do with my children, but like I said, they got to stay inside, I don't want them hurt. Anyway, back to the service. Uh, if you want to join, it's going to be difficult because I currently have about 33,000 followers and every single one wants to join one, which is not a problem, really, it's not, but the real problem, everyone that wants to join, I have to put their name in. It's not like I can just give you an IP, you know, I have to put every single username in manually so that's a bit of a pain you know it's 33,000 people yeah I don't think so I think I'll pass on that but I'm thinking about doing some paid servers where you'll pay like I'm not really sure of the number but it'll be really quite cheap every month you'll pay a small amount of money to be on part of a server and that way I can manage your names and manage everything else easily It'll be cool, you know, then you can join with your friends or whatever. It'll be up to 10 people per server for a while. Uh, 
So you could do like you and three friends or something like that. And you could have someone else join with a group of their friends. You could like fight in the world or, or not fight, whatever you want. I'm just saying you could do some cool things with like factions and creating uh, allies and things. So it'd be cool, you know. And you got you got typing and stuff too, so you can chat with each other. And uh, I don't know where the bloody world I am right now. Isn't this great? This always happens to me. And I now always find myself in a minute too. Alright, you know what? What is going on? Also, some of you might have noticed that um, my I do in-game sound now. It wasn't working. It was lagging and things. But I found out a way of how to do it easily. So no, you know, it's not a pain anymore. I don't have to use a computer to do this. Nothing. Just the device itself. It's quite nice. And it's much more entertaining, I'm sure, to you guys to watch when I have the in-game sound. So you can hear the little freaks trying to kill me. Uh... Really? What what do you want from me right now? Don't give me this. Don't give me this. You know what? I'm going to turn my phone down. People are constantly texting me. Leave me alone, you know? I'm busy. Bloody fools. I always tell them I'm busy. And my friends think it's funny to try to call me or text me or whatever during my recordings, which I usually do think is funny, but... You know, I, I troll them more than they troll me, so I get what, you know, I deserve it. It's alright. I don't care. I don't care. Neither do they want. I'll do what I want. How about that? How about that? I don't think they like that one bit, because my jokes are much more cruel than theirs. Theirs are more like, <laughs> we're teasing you. Mine are more like, you are going to look like an idiot after I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a real joke. Alright. Let's pop some coal in here. We have a ton of coal. 120 right here. That's not bad at all. The only bad part is we don't even have any meat to cook. We have a couple of porks. And that's it. Five now. I suppose that's better than nothing. But really that's really quite horrible. That's like nothing. I'm sick and tired of being poor. We don't have any food. You know, we have a lot of other things. I got like diamonds, Iron, coal. I'm doing pretty well in that respect, but when it comes to the stupid food sector, I am absolutely worthless with the food. I have none. That's why I started the farm, though. I've got 29 wheat. I forgot about that. 29 wheat will get me a certain amount of bread. Nine loaves. That's really not quite. That's not. That's not bad though. Really, it's pretty good. A couple of apples. You know what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and craft another chest and start to get myself organized here. We'll go ahead and craft a sign, which to be honest, I don't remember where they are, the bottom of this probably. No, maybe not. Maybe down? No, what in the world? Am I just an idiot? Where is it? It's probably here, never mind. Alright, well that was great. Okay, it's there. Now I don't feel so stupid. Where are the sticks? Stop. Where? Alright, there we go. So now we'll go ahead and get ourselves a sign. <clears throat> right here. There we go. Much better. Alright. Let's pop it up here after we get some torches. It's too dark, you know? It's far too dark. Alright, here we go. We're going to name this something bloody fancy. We're going to name it Food. Can you believe it? Oh, you, you bloody, are you kidding me right now, spider? You are an absolute idiot. You have issues. I hate you. I will forever hate you. No, okay, all right. Well, you, spider, just ruined my life. And you will pay. I promise, you're going to pay. Well, you already did, so shut up. But your family's going to pay for it. Your relatives, whoever they are, I don't care. As long as they're a spider, they meet, they meet the description that I'm going to be looking for. Alright, we're going to put food here. I'm done with this. I'm not going to let them kill me again. Food! How fancy! Now we're going to put some food in there. Even fancier than the sign food. Alright, eggs don't count. Yes, they do. They count now. I just changed my mind that fast. Okay. Now, let's make another sign. 
And another chest. Why not, you know? Why not? But not you know, extra organization is not going to hurt. In fact, it's going to make things more bearable in the future. Okay, let's throw this one right here. And then pop up a little sign. And we're going to name this one something even more fancy. Plants. Oh, I can't even type today. Plants. All right, look at that. That I, I guarantee that's fancier than anything you've seen today. Or you'll obviously, probably. I don't think your parents have even showed you something as fancy as this. No, they haven't. They just can't do it. Alright, we, we'll go on the food. We'll put these saplings in the plant sector. And, uh... I don't even know why I pulled that stupid category. Well, I just don't have anywhere to put these saplings. You know? You know what else? We're going to count in dirt as plants. Even though they're not really plants. So don't tell me about how they're not plants. I know that. I just told you that. But they gotta go there anyway. Wheat. It's food enough for me. Alright? But really, I understand that dirt is not a plant. Alright? I don't care. I put it in there because I want to. So don't try to start a battle with me about how it's not a plant. You know, you can try to prove me wrong with science. I don't care because guess what? Science is in my favor. I already told you I know it's not. In fact, there's positive studies showing that if you put things in categories that you made yourself, you are a more creative person. So now that you're done being obnoxious and trying to shut me down, you can just shut up. Because guess what? I am more creative than you if you don't like that dirt right there. That's right. Those three stacks. Don't look at me funny. Just look at the stacks. Now you feel dumb, don't you? You feel awkward. I'm not talking to all of you. I'm talking to those of you who are thinking what I talked about at the beginning, which I can't really remember too well right now. So it's been a while. Probably two minutes or so. I don't remember. <laughs> but now we'll just say goodbye to Sheepy. We're going to have to... We're going to stop this episode, Sheepy, all right? All right, good. I'm glad you're happy, even though your legs are broken. We're trying to get you the right care, okay? It's just going to take a while. You know, we have to get resources, Sheepy. you got to understand patience, you fool. Patience. If you don't have any patience, you're not going to survive long. Alright? For instance, if you ran out of patience and someone was to punch you, you would die. Alright? But you're not going to let anyone do that to you. Especially me. I am not going to punch you and you're not going to die. You're fine. We're going to get you some help. Alright? Some real help in the future. Alright, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you all have a good rest of the day. And I know you will after watching this. So don't give me that nonsense that you hope you do too. You already know. Alright. Okay. That's enough.